Hey, what is up? This is Derek Yasha, and today I'm going to do a movie review on Child's Play, but first, I got something to tell you, alright? Apparently, uh, you know, in my childhood, um, you know, I was four years old, and, you know, my two brothers at the time, uh, after they got done watching Child's Play, of course, that we had a buddy doll, decided, hey, um, why don't we go scare our little brother, and, of course, uh, you know, uh, put him in the basement with the doll, and, you know, they scared me with the doll, you know, they did, you know, and I remember, uh, being down in the basement for all those hours crying, and, of course, being terrified of the buddy doll, even though that it wasn't Chucky, but still, you know, as a kid, you do think that it is Chucky, you know, um, you know, throughout my whole, uh, you know, my whole childhood, or let's just say half of my life, you know, I've been, I've been scared of Chucky, not lying, I've been, you know, scared of him, you know, I mean, of course, any kid would be terrified if, uh, you know, their brothers uh, terrified them with a bu buddy doll, and threw them down in the basement for a lot of hours, you know, so I remember, you know, being very scared of Chucky until, you know, like, a lot of years later, you know, when I turned probably, like, 13 or 14, um, my balls finally dropped, and I stopped being scared of Chucky. You know, I stopped being scared of him. You know, I'm not gonna lie, very terrifying doll, you know, but, um, you know, I like him now. You know, he's fucking awesome. He's badass, okay? But, um... You know, just, you know, picture you as a child, you know, four years old and being uh, locked in a basement with a doll and a knife, of course, you know, because I think, uh, you know, they, they like sewed the knife on his hand or something, but yeah, you know, uh, I was terrified, but anyways, um, I gotta stop talking about that and review the movie, alright, child's play, alright. Yeah, so if you don't know, um, the movie is basically about this guy named Charles Lee Ray, and, you know, um, the cop by, uh, played by Chris Sarandon, yeah, Chris Sarandon, um, you know, he's chasing him down for something that he did, we don't know what the hell he did, but, you know, he's chasing Charles, Charles Lee Ray down, and, of course, Charles goes inside the toy store, and transfers his soul into this doll, which is Chucky, by the way, or just a good guy doll, you know, so then, uh, you know, Andy, for his birthday, he gets the doll, and, you know, um, first thing you notice, uh, you know, they, they don't um, give it right away, but you know that the doll has a presence to it, like, it's, it's uh, alive, you know, and, you know, it kills uh, the aunt, and then, it, you know, uh, the doll kills a cu couple of people, and then, you know, the kid is trying to tell them that the doll is killing people, and then, of course, they uh, they don't believe him. So, yeah, you know, I don't want to spoil the rest of the movie, but you get the point, and you probably already saw this movie already, but still, pretty awesome movie, you know. Um, I think the guy that does the, the puppetry from Tales from the Crypt for the Crypt Keeper also, uh, did the, the, um, puppetry for Chucky. You know, um, for me, the movie gets five out of five, you know, um, the visuals are excellent, the cinematography is excellent, but, um, you know, there was one scene in the movie where, you know, Andy and Chucky get out of the school, and of course, uh, if you, uh, look very carefully, um, you can see the, the you know, the, uh, director and camera crew through the door, you know, like, their reflection through the glass door, you know, um, they might have removed this from this new DVD, the, you know, Chucky's 20th birthday edition, they might, they might have removed it, but if you go uh, get the MGM version, I know it's full screen, but still, you know, um, you will see that mistake in the movie, you know, but, um, you know, other than that, um, yeah, the movie does get, um, five out 
of fire, you know, uh, great acting, you know, this and that, you know, but, um, here's what I want to talk about, you know, mainly the special features on the back of this DVD, okay, let's see, what, what special features does it come with, okay, audio commentary by Alex Vincent and Catherine Hicks and Chucky designer Kevin Yeager. Or younger, or however you say it. Okay. Uh, audio commentary with producer David Kester. Okay, and screenwriter Don Mancini. Okay. Um. Scene. Scene. Specify. Uh, Chucky commentary. Okay, whatever. It's a commentary on Chucky. Uh, you know, uh, this is probably the makings, the featurette, and I think another makings or a featurette again, another featurette, uh, you know, the makings of and uh, still photo gallery. So, yeah, pretty much you, you get everything with this DVD, but um, you know, if you want to see the mistakes, go buy the MGM version. And buy this version just for, you know, the special features, you know. Sorry, you know, sometimes in the mornings, you know, I can't um, see things right, you know. But, uh, yeah. You know, uh, just check this film out. I, I can't do it any more justice, you know. Um, other than that, you know, this is, uh, you know, the best child's play movie ever made. And my favorite one, even though it looks fake as hell, Chucky looks fake as hell in that one, is, uh, Child's Play 2. Uh, that's my favorite movie. And, you know, um, Child's Play 3 is pretty much, you know, okay. Uh, you know, it was a decent time waster, but, um, you know, um, for me, I gotta say that, uh, you know, Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky are just garbage, so yeah. You know, um, check out Child's Play, alright? Check it out.